subscribe to our youtube channel for in-depth interviews of india inc and press the bell icon so that you do not miss our updates Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Nirmal Bagan. You know that yeah, we have with us uh, Murugaval Janki Ravan, founder and MD at Matrimony.com, joining in. Welcome to the show, Murugaval. Pleasure to speak to you uh, after a really long time as well. My first question coming to you is, you know, last couple of months with regards to where the lockdown is concerned, you know, a couple of sectors that have not remained impacted on the back of COVID is yours, you know, where matrimony.com actually belongs. If you could just help us understand from March to now, how is the entire cycle and transition been? Okay. See, there are certain categories are insulated from economic cycles or crisis. Mm -hmm. uh, healthcare, education, and matrimony, one such category. I tell people, as long as humanity exists, the need to people to come together will be always be there. So being that category of connecting people, this category doesn't have any recession because we've seen in the past also. In fact, in the contrary, the number of people who got married post the, the double recession, which was one of the years, that's why we had a baby boomers. So, so this category, you know, not have any impact on because of the, the economy slow down for other reasons. Mm -hmm. Come back to the post-COVID scenario or you know the early stage of COVID, we saw actually the spiking number of people signing up because then people are sitting at home, they had the limited uh, things to do. We saw a spike, but now things have come to a regular level. But again, we continue to have a good double-digit growth in number of users signing up. While the number of users signing up has been on the rising trend, but the quarter one revenue was slightly impacted on account of uh, ability to convert was not at the desired level because you know the people are not able to come to office. It took some time to put things in place. Not only really that we had retail outlets, retail outlets were not operational. But some part of our business were impacted, including elite matrimony. But you look at our quarter two, we had a good year on year the, uh, growth, double digit growth in terms of building. Our paid volume really shot up by almost a 25 percentage. For first time, we crossed two lakhs plus paid transactions. So as a company, really a bounce back on our growth uh, trajectory. We expect the growth momentum only to, to continue and only to accelerate further. Because it has to do not only in terms of profit acquisition, that one, one factor. The way you have been executing, the way you have been delivering things at, at, uh, at, uh, in the, inside the organization uh, has been very good. We are driving things in all areas, be it on the product side, mm -hmm. be it on the conversion side, a bit on other areas. There's some of the things what you put in place, which all started probably a year ago, we started seeing the result of the effort what you put in probably a year ago. Mm -hmm. As organization, now come back to a good WD growth, the growth further going to accelerate, and we see the only the increased momentum. Also, the interesting thing about this category, we are operating at 60% gross margin. Correct. Very few categories as the kind of 60% gross margin business. Mm -hmm. So which so that way this has a good operating leverage. We are leader in this space, so almost 60% market share. We only expect the market share continue to move up and quite excited and a lot of things in the pipeline as well. So we are we are in an exciting journey. Uh, which, uh, so right. So so tell me one thing. You know, we spoke about the subscriptions as well, which have done really well right now in this quarter. Now, if I look at FY18 to FY20, there was a marginal decline that did come in point, you know, in terms of subscriptions. Do you think taking the current scenario into consideration, we will be able to surpass FY18 numbers in terms of subscription? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Because if you look at a Q2, the growth was 28 percentage. So definitely be a definitely be surpassing. Because the growth is now on 25 percentage on the subscription. Uh, uh, mm. numbers. Correct. And overall also, what is the reason that you see right now, which is a different trend that you've been witnessing on the back of COVID in terms of subscriptions, in terms of marriages versus what you saw earlier? One thing that, you know, the actual marriage did not take place at the desired level, you know, that you know, when there was a restriction on 
the number of people can attend the wedding so people have postponed at the weddings but nowadays you know, things are back to you know almost come back to the earlier level people are started getting married but getting married different than the the people using the matchmaking platform mm. people know that you take uh, from 6 months to 1 year for a person to find a life partner while the marriages which were finalized were postponed mm. but the people looking for matchmaking that trend did not slow down it's only gone up during the covid situation Wow. and now it has come back to the sort of certain level which would have been the regular trend otherwise so it, definitely the increase in uh, uh, the number of people signing up and there's a double digit growth in the total user acquisition so those trends have would have been the scenario if not for covid also the q1 had a spike and q2 come to the double digit growth so wow. right and then with this if we see the market share you are leaders at least in terms of where the southern market is concerned uh, looking at the north side of india what would your strategy be from here on because i do understand that you are you know looking at micro markets that's you know one strategy that you've been following you are offering a range of targeted and customized products as well and services so to expand in the northern market or in other regions where you don't have dominance what's going to be the strategy yeah just to clarify here uh, our leadership is across the geography except only in the north west slightly began right. a number one player west you are a number one player east you are a strong number one player uh-huh. south you literally among the three players right. the 90 90% market share so north we are looking at uh, the multi um, uh, multi prolonged strategy including a product strategy including the pricing strategy wow. including a penetration strategy so we are looking at uh, the 3p strategy product price and penetration we definitely look at you know kind of uh, some other things can now we see then the poly in the, in the quarters to come or months to come uh, we see some launches taking place some 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 uh, product offerings may come into the picture so I, we hope that uh, not market also will able to uh you know uh, achieve the leadership probably one year's time probably able to achieve the leadership in the northern market that will make us uh, a company which is a leadership across the market while we have overall uh, 60% market share we hope that we are able to take the market share, uh, market share for that right and overall you know what's happening is we do understand that the digital penetration across businesses is increasing as well is that something which is benefiting matrimony.com and if yes ha, are we also garnering market share from peers yeah definitely you know we are the, the the strong digital penetration is taking place mm-hmm. across india that definitely going to benefit that's quite obvious in the, in the category uh, in the internet penetration take place that going to benefit all the category and matrimony no exception so that's going to happen so in terms of if you able to grow our market share that that only means that you will take the share or from our competitors so i think we expect that to happen from we expect the 60% market share what we think we have will going to uh, improve further uh, the way that's where we are uh, looking at things right and in terms of the pricing strategy goes uh, currently what are the kind of price trend uh, you know uh, you what, what are the kind of trends you are seeing are you seeing Uh, a more volume based coming in in the lower pricing category of products or are you seeing lower volumes but people are preferring uh, the higher price category products see the one thing when it comes to matrimony category okay, okay. there are different set of or different types of users hmm. you see that you know person from tier 1 well educated to you know tier 3 where someone not educated Second is very from market to market. It mm-hmm. depends on multiple factors. Mm-hmm. You know, where such a market is strong dominant, our pricing can be different. Even within these categories, the pricing can be different compared to mm-hmm. the market. The price will be different for uh, different uh, people. So basically, we are looking at uh, the pricing is not one single pricing. So it's a uh, pricing is actually determined by our AI or analytical tool based on various factors. I want to put uh, into one single single criteria. there are multiple factors that defines the what price point you want to offer that uh, that subscription to the customer 
So you look at a quarter to a number, it, while the numbers volume grew by 25 percentage, while it came at the cost of ARPU, because that was a strategy you adopted. Because we want to you know, offer a, a differentiated pricing for the company, depends on the socioeconomic status, for other uh, uh, parameters. I think that in, way, in a way that has been helping and uh, we are able to drive the conversion, that is important. Mm -hmm. uh, the pricing is not a single pricing strategy. It's, uh, is while there is single published price for three months, but what price you offer to customer is based on various criteria and parameters that is determined by our analytical engine according mm -hmm. to the, the, the very, this, this information, the price being offered to the customer, and that has been helping us. Right, and apart from that, if we see the revenue mix as well, there is some portion of the revenues that do come in uh, uh, you know, from the other marriage-related services. What's the strategy to grow that portion of the business? Because we do understand that's still a minuscule portion. Yeah. So we definitely, uh, the wedding is a very large market, no doubt, everyone knows in India. But unfortunately, so far, no one has got the wedding services uh, opportunity right, including us. So I've been trying for last uh, so many years. And I believe that uh, we didn't get the strategy right in uh, one of the categories what we had invested, which was matrimony photography. Okay, the, uh, when hindsight, I know I don't think that was a good strategy to go for a full-fledged uh, uh, service model where we were taking the responsibility of offering wedding mm -hmm. photography, where we sent the crew, and uh, while taking the entire responsibility of editing and delivering uh, the footages. I think the company better off being an internet company. Okay, we realized that, so we shut down the business, matrimony photography, where uh, invested a, a good amount of time and effort. But after the focus has been on two initiatives on wedding services. One is mandap.com, which is a two-sided marketplace. We believe that uh, we are probably in the right direction. We are the largest player when it comes to venue, venue uh, discovery. Uh, we have 10,000 plus venues across India. Okay, and we definitely have plans uh, to make it as a much strong, uh, player in this category while we are the obviously largest in this category we don't any serious player in this category then a matrimony bazaar again it's a marketplace model a two-sided marketplace and you have a thousands of wedding services across india due to pandemic the revenue got impacted i believe the ones that you know now pandemic is coming to an end we believe that both the business will be able to scale up definitely i see that you know these businesses are providing value and uh, mandap.com uh, is something is in a way that uh, it's helping people to find out the venues available uh, for the for according to their preferences and that's a starting point anyway once a person finds that uh, wedding you know the, the next thing they want to uh, you know look for a venue so we believe that there's an opportunity we could have effectively leverage these all three matchmaking mandap.com and matrimony bazaar so we have some interesting plans and uh, i use this opportunity to kind of separate some other things we believe that Hopefully, from uh, Q4 onwards, we see that improved uh, uh, trajectory or uh, performance in the wedding services. So, we'll remain at a small part of matrimony.com revenue. But however, we are quite pleased. We are very long-term focused. We believe that we'll be able to make this venture successful as well. Right. And with this, how important is ad spends for a business like yours? Because right now, in COVID, along with digital marketing, a lot of advertisements that have been done with regards to television, et cetera. So uh, have you seen an increase in terms of budgets taking the revenue and the billing growth into consideration? Uh, yes. While we look at our marketing spend as a personal revenue has, has slightly uh -huh. moved up. Okay. And thanks to, uh, you know, for multiple reasons. Uh, one is uh, obviously uh, you want to drive the growth. Other reason also the increased competitive activities in some other market. So again, in a way it helped actually, in a way it helped overall category. Let's give a perspective. Three years ago, the category spend was under crore. Okay, I put uh, you know, all top three players put together. Today it's come to almost 400 crore. You see the kind of the marketing spend happened in this category. Uh, so in three years moved from under crore to, uh, to 400 crore. So good amount of budgets going big in this category. In a way it's good. Uh, because the overall category is getting developed and obviously we should be the beneficiary of the increased uh, visibility for overall as a market data, we should get the benefit. We also stepped up in order to you know, grow the business in order also to protect uh, our market share. And uh, so 
it, it, it's important anyway market is important in the consumer trend category but having said that i do understand some market we are spending more than what we others would be spending if not for uh, you know increase competitive activity in the market but nevertheless in spite of spending a 30 plus percent of marketing we have a 20 close to 20 percent ebitda margin we expect the ebitda margin continue to move up because the operating leverage of the business is very high as i told you we have operating 60 percent gross margin so in spite of spending almost 35 percent on marketing we have a 20 percent ebitda margin as the revenue increases which 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 is happening anyway we see that the increase ebitda margin gross margin further moving up we are on the right 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 path so there is a some competitor thing which is fine which is mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good right so taking the performance into consideration which is really strong right now during the pandemic the matchmaking billings are strong what would your outlook be for the second half of the year and for fy21 and 22 as a whole what's the kind of growth you're anticipating so we having moved to double digit growth we expect that our double digit growth will continue and will only going to accelerate further okay uh-huh. so definitely looking at uh, you know that, that's a kind of outlook we have for the matrix business for fy22 the growth will be much stronger okay we we'll, like go to we see that uh, the growth is accelerating further because it has nothing to do with one, one is that uh, the covid which we able to effectively leverage the, the opportunity what is provided to us we become efficient we are able to uh, drive the cost down we able to put some of the cost saving back into the, uh, the marketing or growth area some of the fundamental work what you have done probably one year ago all this thing also started yielding results the combination of uh the, the internal processes internal system uh some other things what are done in terms of products many other all all this the improvements what are done across different areas of the business all all the things started yielding the results we look at in the last one year the number of new initiatives were launched on the products side we done a quite a number of initiatives we launched uh, a secure connect feature a female can receive a call without revealing her phone number Mm. Launch a feature. Who can see me? A female mm. can set a profile can be seen only by people matching certain criteria. Mm. So you are on Bharat Matrimony. You can choose. My profile can be seen only by people matching this age group, education, occupation. So we only get to see, or only you get a match from only those preference of what you are setting. Mm. Launch a video calling feature. We recently launched a, a Prime membership. Where you get to see verified profiles, photo ad profiles. So basically, you continue to innovate, continue to differentiate on the product side, mm. on the sales side. The, the lot of things we put in place. So come back to your question on the outlook for FI21, FI22. FI21 having moved to double digit will continue double digit growth, growth moving up. FI22 will be, will be very good. Okay, mm. we'll have very strong growth in FI22. Right, and overall, as we know, matrimony.com overall is a debt-free company. uh what was what is going to be the next milestone that you as a company are looking to cross and for that or achieve and for that any fundraising plans on the annual so oh, it's going it's, it's a cash generation company for the capex is probably spend around 10 crores every year mm. so for the one of the big, biggest spend is marketing so that way we don't need any capital Wow. and we have a good balance sheet and uh, continue to generate cash so for us the one market where you have to be a leader is where is slightly begin the number one player which is northern market again the current strategy is a marketing spend is good enough to take care of it well definitely going to slightly increase our marketing spend but still okay. as i said our ebitda margin continue going to improve uh, so that's outlook what you have for the business so the immediate thing is about probably next one year from now our focus will be out to become a number one player in the northern market doesn't look at any fund raise we have a, a no need to in fact the growth happen only you get more uh, 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 profit getting uh, generated uh, through this uh, the business so that is no need of any capital right and, and what's the conversion ratio right now uh, the conversion again if you look at a matchmaking the conversion the pip, it happens over a period of time the oh. people you know Pay some people pay in month one, some people pay after a few months. Wow. If you look at overall, we see that more than ten percent of users go for a free to pay membership. Again, that's happened over a period of time. So most of the people, good percentage of people, 
go for early conversion, but uh, conversion possibly should be seen from that perspective of when the person when since the, when since the person created a profile and how long the person taken to convert and what person the users to convert. So okay. both duration and percentage we need to see. I can over 10% users uh, go for a paid conversion. Right. And, and very lastly, uh, Murugavar, any plans with regards to stake sale or any uh, companies which are smaller in this space or related space that you're looking to acquire? Uh, we definitely look at uh, there is opportunity to grow in organically. Definitely, uh, we definitely look into it. A growth strategy combination of organic growth and inorganic growth. We bought a company called Second Shadi uh, uh, two years ago or three years ago. And we invested in a company called Astrovision, uh, which is of strategic interest in a way because astrology is one of the important uh, factors when it comes to matchmaking. And Astrovision product used by many players in this space. And you continue to look at opportunity. Uh, if there is opportunity which makes sense in the matchmaking wedding services, definitely we'll be uh, looking into that opportunity. Absolutely. So I think uh, expansion is on the cards from here on. Thank you, Muruga, so much for joining us on the show. Pleasure to speak to you. Great insights that we've picked up. Congratulations once again for the spectacular growth that you've seen in the last couple of months and hoping this kind of growth continues uh, for the company as well. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the conversation and stay safe. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.